got my external PCI Express to Mini PCI Express adapter so I can connect an external um, video card to my um, laptop here. Now this is the EXP GDC Aries. Um, hopefully it works. I'm pretty excited to try it out. Um, we have this six pin connector to give the video card power. We can also externally give it power. And then you have, um, let me call this here, the eight pin connector for your power supply. So you can connect that directly without having to do anything funky. And then, of course, this is the mini PCA Express that goes to your laptop. This is actually an HDMI cable that's going to carry the signal. It connects here. And I think the only other thing here is this. It's like a delay switch to make sure that it works. And this is another way to to power the this connector if you need to. You can use um like a laptop power supply, which seems pretty silly. I, I mean, I guess if you want to make it portable, but I think it's pretty silly. If you're going to do this, you're, you're going to do this like a docking system. So I'm going to give this a shot with um, the video card and power supply I got. I'll show that in a bit. The video card I chose, I chose a um, 6990, an AMD Radeon 6990, which is a dual GPU. Um, it's a dual GPU graphics card. It's probably too much for this external video card setup, but I just want to try it anyway, simply because one, price, and two, um, supposedly this kind of video card works better with Sony Vegas 12, which is kind of the idea that I had in mind. I could have gone with the 6970, which had been cheaper, but for like 50 more bucks, I get another video card, which makes it a little better for gaming. So, Our supply I went with a Raid Max 630. Um, obviously 630 watt total power and has the uh, PCI Express connectors I need for the 6990. Fortunately, it's not um, even like 80 plus certified, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm guessing it's probably close to 75, but since I'm not connecting it, connecting it to a whole computer and just the video card, this should be enough power for what I need. All right, so I've uh, taken the back cover of my laptop off. And I need to basically use one of these two PCI Express, um, mini PCI Express um, slots to add the, uh, oops, here we go, Aries connector. So because it's a half size as opposed to a full size, what I'm going to do temporarily is take out my Wi-Fi, because I'm, I'm not going to use it anyway. I use wired at home. And I'll, I'll plug it in here. I'll plug the cable in here, secure it in, see if it works. If it does, what I may do for future use is that I'll use this connector here, or maybe move the Wi Fi there, because I can plug this here and then have the wire come out the back. Um, if I plug it here, I'll see it would have to bend. So what I may do is get an extension for this so it could fit here. Uh, we'll see. See how it works out. But temporarily, put this here. So I got the cable in there. I put it in where the Wi-Fi was. These are the Wi-Fi antennas. I'm just going to have them dangle there. I'm going to keep the cover off, obviously, because you know, the, co the cable is not going to fit otherwise. Um, if this works, I might... I mean, I might. A very slim chance, though. I might try to... Uh, adapt it so this could fit. I, I don't really don't like that idea. This is a nice nice cover. It's aluminum if you can hear that. It's not plastic. The the top is plastic, but it's it's aluminum. HP made a pretty well built laptop here with the uh the the Elite Book um E seven seventy W. It's a great workbook. Um so I'm gonna put this in position and then I'll show the setup with the video card. Alright, so this is the basic setup with the laptop. I have everything connected. I have <coughs> uh, right here I got the 
cable from the laptop going to the external graphics card. There's, of course, 6960 here. I have my power connectors. I have my monitor connected there, which is, of course, this monitor that I have on a arm here. I have my power supply right there. And right here you can see that I have the power connector kind of dangling. I probably should have touched it like that. But I'm not, not connect it yet. I'm not going to power it on because I first need to go into the laptop and um, uninstall the Wi-Fi or make sure it's disabled. Reboot and then I can fire the whole thing up and hopefully there won't be any issues um, when I do that and everything will start to work. I also have to download the AMD drivers because I don't have them. So I have to make a correction to what I said earlier. So before I said that you know I was going to uninstall the Wi-Fi card after I already installed the adapter for the external graphics card, which was actually the wrong instructions. What I should have done is actually make sure the Wi-Fi is still installed, then go into the device manager, then find it, and of course uninstall it. But in any case, um, the Wi-Fi adapter was the least of my problems. So this little connector, which of course is really nothing in hindsight, it's just basically uh, a wire that adapts the mini PCI Express to HDMI to go to the external PCI Express. Um, it didn't work because HP has a whitelist on many of their computers, and I did not know this. There's actually, I did a little quick search, but yeah, I had to do a little research and to find out. There's ways to get around it. Um, people have done technical ways, people have used modified BIOSes. And some people just stop buying HP products altogether as a result, but I am not going to do any of those things. I have another option, which is to use an Express card. So I have gone and got one of those adapters, but I do have one more computer I can try, and I will um, get that set up, and I'll post another video then.